What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we were kind of just going on to our account, we're checking out Realms Gate, it's been a long time since we've done that, but towards the end, uh, in the middle you see something new with Void Corruption 121 and higher, uh, we noticed something very interesting with Cavern Explorations, a way to potentially really maximize the Crystals of Transcendence you're gaining, so let me know what you guys think, again it's towards the end, uh, but definitely watch this because we're going to be showing you 121, 122 and 123 void corruption difficulties hopefully you guys enjoyed it I'll see you guys next time What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we are back on the main account. We're going to be talking about Realms Gate, because sadly the first two days of the new Idle Master changes, I've left it on it to smash it, and uh, kind of forgot that I could change the levels and everything, so let's take a look and actually see what's going on. Looks like I got a couple things that sold, that's awesome as well. So, Realms Gate, right here. Uh, okay, now immediately you can go from 120 to 121 and when you do you get these kind of cool tentacle animations I thought it would just be like a change of an icon. No, we actually get like a change which is pretty cool I like it uh, We're gonna go through these levels real quick here. We're gonna see Honestly, I imagine we're still one tapping 121 with the power of our account I want to see what the rewards are for the new locations though. So let's go through Let's beat the boss. That means we could probably go up to 122 immediately and see if we can adjust. And I really want to hope, I hope we can get to a cavern here today. Now this, I don't know if this is going to go well. Eh, we still one tapped it. Okay. <laughs> Let's move on to the next level down. Now it is a boss one. That means we can go up to 122 as well here. Um, so we have no mine. Sadly, that's really what I want to take a look at. So tomorrow we'll do that. I'm actually going to take the top route because I want to look at how these things differ. So number one, the chest. You can get, eh, it doesn't seem like great stuff, chaos stones and stuff, especially for an account like ours. Not quite necessary. Um, I really want to see what else is in these chests and see if they're actually increased. Ah, more monster material. See, that's what really sucks. Like, you can gamble to try to go to Splendid Chest to maybe get more profit orbs or even, like, other resources. But if you get something you don't need, it kind of feels bad. Uh, but on to the first one here. So, we have some of these crystals. I don't know if the crystals have changed at all. They actually do. Okay, so this is something brand new. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So we have a lot of new stuff here. These are going to be... Oh, I guess I can't go out of this now that I've clicked on it. Oh, no. All right, so let's see. Might of Stars Awaken. So this is going to have bonuses based on how strong of awakening a hero has. Increases backline allies all damage dealt. This effect to increase all damage dealt differs based on the highest awakened tier of deployed heroes. So actually, it doesn't matter what every hero has. It sounds like it's just the highest awakened hero in your team will give the benefit. So if you actually have like a B tier hero, you're going to be getting 20% all damage dealt instead of 10. Over here increases frontline allies armor. So it looks like they're the same as before because I remember these being specific cards. It's just now you have awakened versions. Um, interesting. Although I don't know if they actually have these for your lower tier under level 100. We'll have to go look at that later in this video. Uh, so yeah, we'll just select that one. Yeah, that's our first blessing we actually have. Usually I kind of just skip past the blessings overall. Uh, but it's interesting. I wonder if the crystals are different. Let's keep going on. Really no point watching these because we're just going to one tap them it looks like all the time. Next up, yep, we just have a monster wave here, so let's beat these right now. Yeah, for at least the super powerful accounts, these difficulties are not very difficult right now. They are still very easily smashable without any losses. Uh, okay, this is the one. So Void Crystal. Let's see what the crystal has in store for us. So, looks like it's the same. Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, it looks like there's absolutely no difference there, sadly. I was kind of hoping there would be something special. What we could try doing is we could see if we could beat the boss on this one and have enough energy to then find a crystal node as well. But we still have to go through three more. Might be cutting it close. Again, not even the carry waves are really bothering us. None of them seem to be that much of an issue. So it looks like we'll be able to continue to climb. One big thing, though, is make sure you guys are still upping your power if you think you can beat the levels in one shot. That is very, very important. All right, we got the mini boss over here. Go beat up on him, hopefully. Takes 10. We got a W. That's cool. So on to the last one. We'll have a little bit of energy left, I think. All right, so we got to fight, what, three? Or is it two? I forget. Just two. And we got the big baddie boss here. Nope, there is a third one. I thought so. Fight you. Okay, and now we have 55 energy. Um, Let's see what this combat actually looks like. Team isn't really set up for this per se. It's a mixture of heroes set up for purgatory and heroes set up for void campaign. So yeah, the jar is not quite fast enough. The householders are kind of messed up. There we go. We got some CC going this time. That's really good. Now, hopefully we can continue the CC with the jar and maybe one shot this. Ooh, we lost, we lost the Eos. That's iffy. We didn't get a CC off. This is a lot of damage. This one's going to take a few attempts. It looks like unless our Vesa is just ridiculously overpowered strong versus this boss and just easily gets the W. But it does look like she's still taking a ton of damage. Eh, she looks like she might be strong enough, though. Her shields are keeping up, especially with her active giving a lot of shields. We'll have the Lion giving even more. I probably should add Phoenix in here. They are going to start doing more damage here, but she's starting to do a good amount of damage to them. Yeah, Phoenix would have been great if I actually remember to put it on for the boss battle here. Uh, she seems pretty healthy with those shields. Uh, they're not even putting a dent in her shield, so I think she's going to one-shot this at 122. But again, remember, this is literally like pretty much the strongest vest you can get without having an A tier or higher copy. Oh my goodness. Okay, never mind. Now they're starting to hit strong. Around 23, we got our butt kick there. Uh yeah, let's go to the Phoenix and let's just smash that. We get the victory with the Phoenix. Perfect. So we got 36 energy for the next level. Let's go and pick I want to pick Vesa. No, it doesn't matter, but I want to pick Vesa. Oh, we do have it right away. Let's go up to 123. Oh, I think we have just enough to look at it, honestly. I think we have just enough. This is going to take two more, right? We got a little extra. All right. Fight the group. Perfect. All right. Move on. Yes. Now, this is what we really wanted to see was the mysterious cavern. So, where are you, cavern? You're down here. Okay, so there is a new thing here with the cavern explorations that there are bonuses for having awakened hero copies at this point, too. So as you see here, uh, yeah, interesting. Very, very interesting. So like on this one, I've seen ones up to like four and their stats are very much more significant. What I also want to try is lowering this back down to 120 to see what the previous 120 rewards were. Oh, you can actually reset this? Oh, oh my god, is this a hack? Is this a hack? Hold on, wait a minute. Hopefully this isn't considered an exploit. No, okay, so it's for each level. Oh, interesting, interesting. So let's try each one above. Oh, this is tricky right here. This is really tricky. Okay, so that one is still the same. Uh, I gotta... Remember to hit the right thing. So I guess it's just between 120. I mean, because even at 121, we have the same exact one. But if we drop down to 120, it's different. <laughs> Wait, okay. Okay, we're going to mess with this a little bit. Does this continue to do it? So what are we getting from this one with the Waken Hero copy? Oh, it's different again. 
Oh my god, we found the hack. We found the hack. <laughs> you can just keep re-entering until you find the best one possible for your team. All right, well, uh, yeah, exploit hack. I don't know. Maybe you guys should try doing it, though, if you can go above this. I don't know if going below it matters. Let's go to, like, 119. It's a different one. What if we go up 120? Does this work? Has this always worked and I just haven't known? I mean, let's be honest, it's been a long time since we've done anything in Realms Gate besides just letting it smash. No, it's the same. If you keep changing up and down between like 19 and 20, does that do anything? Like before even this void corruption stuff? Huh. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So, uh, yeah, I guess you can try to get the best out of your cavern explorations by just changing the difficulty constantly over and over. Again, I don't know if that was a thing before or if it's now a thing because Void Corruption 121 and higher is different from 120 and lower. Leave a comment down below if you've already been doing this. Otherwise, uh, it's a little tip for you guys to get additional Crystals of Transcendence. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. See you guys next time.